Hi there. Now for this next part of the question, we're given these summary statistics where x denotes the midpoint of these class intervals. And we've got to estimate the mean standard deviation for this data here. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do it, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can compare your solutions to mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all, we've got to work out what the mean would be, an estimate for the mean. And it would be the sum of the frequencies times the midpoint x divided by how many observations we've got, n, or the total frequency. And we know that if we were to do this calculation on the top, it's 6,460. So we've got 6,460 divided by the number of observations, which is 85, or the total frequency. And if you work this out, it comes out exactly as 76, which is handy. And then next we're being asked to work out what the standard deviation is. And for the standard deviation, let's just put it in standard deviation. You should be familiar with this particular formula, okay? And that formula is equal to the square root of the sum of f of x squared. So we've got sigma f of x squared. And all of this is divided by n. Now I say n, but some people say it should be divided by n minus 1. The example will allow dividing by n minus 1, but I'm going to go with n purely because I'm treating this as my population data, not a sample, okay? If this was a sample and I was estimating the population standard deviation, then I would divide by n minus 1. But treating it as the population, I'm dividing by n. And then it's minus the mean that we've just calculated squared. So filling in these values then, we've got the square root of sigma fx squared, which is 529,400. This is divided by n, which is 85. And then minus the mean, which we found out is 76, and we square it. And if you work this out, you get 21.265, and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures, it's going to be 21.3 to 3SF. Okay.